with all that being said, let's talk about this first big story. I love this headline from Axios. It's just three words. Biden threatens Putin. Wow. That's that's amazing. They say in How a video far journalism has come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Concise. Well, hey, I mean, that's a good thing. It's it's better than some sensationalist 20 word title. Oh, okay. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it simple. In a video call that lasted for just over two hours on Tuesday, Biden warned Russian President Putin that if Russia invades Ukraine, the U.S. will impose unprecedented sanctions and provide additional weaponry to the Ukrainians, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said. Now, Axios doesn't want to go as far as to say U.S. troop deployment because Sullivan kind of danced around it, saying he doesn't want to say we're bracing for, you know, rotation uh, of, of boots on the ground because we already have rotational deployments in the Baltics. But he is saying that is entirely a possibility. The U.S. getting involved in a ground war in Ukraine. Sound like a bad idea? Sounds like a terrible idea, particularly on the 80th anniversary of uh, Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think this is once again, um, this is the EU has been pressing this fight forever. Right. They're, they're the ones that talked about the expansion of getting the Ukraine in. This is where uh, the, the, the more radical members of the EU and NATO talked about making Ukraine a member of NATO. Right. This has been pushing and pushing and pushing forever. Uh, Biden's also doing this for political expediency. He needs a wag the dog moment. The Wall Street Journal's polling came out today. Absolutely horrific, right? He's, I think it's 26% right track, wrong track, Whoa, 20, 20, 26, yep. 26, 26 right track, uh, what 62%, 63% wrong track. You've got, uh, among, uh, people who think he's doing great versus, uh, the, the terrible. It's 37 to six. These are unprecedented unprecedentedly yeah. low numbers not just not just on Kamala Harris on him he has lost the country mm. okay and now he has no political capital to support this orgy of spending that's going to bury everybody up on Capitol Hill so he needs he needs to change the conversation here's how he's going to change the conversation he's going to be a tough guy right he's going to push around Putin so uh, he's going to try to use this to uh, uh, purely for politics to try to get his ratings up uh, his his uh, to show he's a, a leader and this is a disaster and I got to tell you, it's not just, it's not Biden. It's the Uniparty. The worst comment of the day was not from the pencil neck Jake Sullivan, right? Mm -hmm. should, they should be focused on the Chinese Communist Party and what's happening in Taiwan and the South China Sea with the Central China. The worst comment was from the senator from Mississippi, uh, Wicker, who said, everything's on the table, including combat troops, not just the 200 advisors they have in there now, combat troops and tactical nuclear weapons, a nuclear strike. Well, yeah. I mean, this guy's just, he's just... It's he's he's blowing hot air. Come on. He's not blowing. I'm not. He, listen, he's a he's a very respected member. He's a very respected member. But I think he's on the Armed Services Committee. This guy was on Neil Cavuto. This is not this is not a lightweight. Mm -hmm. Look, he's in the United so, States Senate. Well, you have guys in the United States Senate say combat troops and uh, and, and, and tactical nuclear weapons are not a nuclear strike is not off the table. And you brought up a very important point, because historically, when the popularity of leaders goes down, you know, history says that those leaders start wars and conflicts. Mm -hmm. And if there was a conflict between the United States and Russia, China would, of course, take advantage of that situation, invade Taiwan immediately. And geopolitically, yep. this is one of the worst situations that the United States could make because we should be working with Russia, aligning with them and 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 establishing Thank a better you. relationship Thank because you. there is a lot of tension between Russia and China. But with us going full force against Russia, it's absolutely idiotic. This was, this on was, the world this was state. Trump's plan. This yeah. was the reverse Kissinger Nixon in 72. Look, you have the you have the Eurasian landmass, okay? And right now, American foreign policy since 1914 has been we will never allow one power or a series of power to control Central Asia, the, the Eurasian landmass, the world island, yeah. right? Because he who controls the world island can, can control the world. Yeah. 